Welcome to Beeston. My name is Fred DeVal, I'm the headmaster here, and look forward to showing you a virtual tour of the school with the help of my colleagues and piece together footage from children. Of course, it'll be empty as you look around now. The pandemic means, of course, we can't bring you here ourselves, but I hope the combination of these images and words give you something of a flavour of our lovely school. We've been here since 1948, small day and boarding school. We are in the most outstanding location, quite evidently. 35 acres are of, of all sorts of facilities between the forest, belonging to the National Trust, and, uh, and the seashore. Uh, our children are often in and around those locations. Uh, they do a lot of outdoor learning, uh, and they are absolutely elementally connected to their landscape. I'm Mr Lloyd Beck and I'm the housemaster at Beeston Hall School. Our tour starts at the beginning of the day in the dining room where you'll find boarders breakfasting with me and my family. One of the prefects says grace and house captains organise who's doing duties and so on before they disappear off to their lessons or to the music school to practice. This is a close community and one where children working and playing together, seniors and juniors, is a key part of the school. Mr DeFau will welcome the day children with a handshake, a birthday card or a smile in what is known as the Link, a central hub which joins the original boarding house with a sports hall that has just been refurbished. Of a weekday evening, you'll hear the pop and thud of a bowling machine in the nets, but equally likely in the winter term, Scottish reels being danced. Or a roller skate derby. This is also the location of the whole school drama productions, which have to be seen to be believed. The results involving every child in the prep school are practically professional. So we're coming out of the link now and on the left hand side here is the year eight girls boarding common room. On the right here is the ever popular hangout of the froggy pond a source of great fascination. To the left, we have the games room, fully equipped with table tennis, pool, and foosball. And then we make our way up to the quad area, around which the modern school buildings are arranged. Over in this direction is the pre-prep. And here is Claire Greaves, head of the pre-prep, to tell you more. The children start out in reception in this purpose-built pre-prep area, which has a rubberized play area, mud kitchen and all sorts of play equipment on hand. The classroom is fitted out for continuous provision and following here through to the year one classroom, these are separated by a small garden so the children have plenty of opportunity to work and play together. Senior children will often come and play or read to the younger children, fostering the very real sense that we are a family school with interaction across the age ranges. This is a real feature of Beeston and means the younger children really look up to the older ones and the older ones take very seriously their responsibilities. We are very keen on integration and so the year two classroom is sited within the heart of the prep school on the quad. So they are used to the site and moving around by the time of transition to the prep school. Every classroom has a smart board, e-beam, touchscreen or projector so children can access online resources and in the pre-prep, we also use tablet devices so that we can take our learning outside. Our support ranges in many ways. 
We have adopted a pastoral care programme researched by the Yale Institute for Emotional Intelligence. This is called the RULA programme. RULA stands for recognising, understanding, labelling emotions and then regulating them. With class charters, family charters and mood meters which the children have found to be an invaluable resource during the lockdown isolation. When it's lesson changeover, you can see children popping out of doors like champagne corks, eager to get from one place to another. And here we are in the English department, a riot of inspiration. Hello, my name is Nicole Williamson and I'm head of English at Beeston Hall School. I teach years five to eight alongside my colleague, Mr. Simon Whitworth, who joined the school this year. Not only are Simon and I passionate about the subject, but we also bring to bear a wealth and depth of experience between us. Together, we aim to deliver a rich and varied curriculum to give pupils a breadth of understanding and to foster a climate where ideas, opinions, and confident self-expression are valued. We also seek to provide all pupils the opportunity to showcase their achievements, whether that be through creative writing, public debates or research projects. Reading is of course at the heart of what we do, since language acquisition and wide reading are inextricably linked. We encourage our pupils to broaden their personal tastes in reading by making full use of our well-stocked library. And we are ambitious of our pupils when choosing thought-provoking texts for study and enjoyment in our guided reading sessions in the classroom. Our extensive experience means that we are able to prepare pupils for a wide range of examinations, not least scholarship and common entrance. Our pupils routinely go on to gain scholarships to senior schools many on the basis of their English results. At Common Entrance, we also have a strong record of success, with 100% of our pupils achieving A or B grades in the last three years. Our children are engaged, challenged, and above all, enthused by their learning, whether that be online or in the classroom. Adjacent is the Learning Support Department, nestling in the centre of the school, because we acknowledge the value this can bring to all sorts of children. Now from the Learning Support Department, we make our way downstairs to the two fully equipped science labs. Here is Mr. Godden, Head of Science, to give you a bit more information. Having worked for many years in local secondary and sixth form schools teaching science, my ambition is to get the children outside in the world around us and to further their ability to understand and enjoy it. As part of my role, I'm overseeing the redevelopment of our pond, thought to have been created from a bomb in the Second World War. With guidance from Dr. Carl Sayer of University College London, we hope to reintroduce the native Crucian car and create an air of abounding life which will offer much peace and tranquility for those wishing to relax on the grass or in the woods around it. Looking forward, we have plans to have an outdoor lab around the pond to help take the classroom into nature and we will install a number of areas to fish from for our budding anglers. Back across the quad, past the world's most original phone box, we have a purpose-built art and DT block, the McNichol Centre, where you'll often find projects spilling out here into the sunshine with a jellyfish trash sculpture or a robot wars project being undertaken. Inside you'll find a kiln, vacuum former and also a specially built artist's garret where scholars can come up and away from the fray and get on with their own projects independently. We have further classrooms over in the Swindells block which include the maths department, the Latin department headed up by Mr Burnell, and further down the corridor, the French department. Here's a little bit more from Madam Morgan. There are two main reasons that I am now in my 10th year of teaching at Beeston. Firstly, the school community, in particular, the responsiveness of pupils, the supportive nature of parents, and the camaraderie in the common room. Secondly, the curriculum time afforded to French is better than any other school I have worked in, 
allowing us to teach the language properly, thus enabling us to develop the right habits and learning strategies for when our pupils move on to other foreign languages at their senior school. Our pupils do very well in French because we are given the time to teach it in depth, which I'm delighted about. Also in this building, we have our very well-stocked library. This is the location for games of chess and other book-related activities. Our ensuite kitchen is very useful for making hot chocolate for those long winter evenings where you just want to curl up with a book. And now we move across to the bulk of the outdoor space, which again is focused on giving children the chance to gather and play. Whether it be the old tennis court, the rope swings, children may well be gardening. They won an RHS gold medal for their entry in the Royal Norfolk Show last year. The putting lawn, the woods, or out on the Dean Courts and the Astro, or the playing fields you see ahead of you. Or out practicing high jump or football on the Astro. This is probably the moment to talk a little about sport. Our philosophy is rooted in sport for all. If you're at the school, you have to be in a team. But even though small, the school has a remarkable record for excellence. The children have been in nine national finals in the last six years for hockey, and twice won the national sailing championships at Weymouth for prep schools. The fundamental vision of Beeston is that children love coming to school and if they enjoy each day that leads to the progress that they make. They build the confidence to develop skills, attitudes and a way of embracing the world which I think never leaves them. They make lifelong friends, they come away loving this school, it is their life.